Welcome in everyone to a new episode here on Frontier. We got some permits from the city to be able to construct this fence around our new property. And now we're going to get ready to start doing some major construction that the city does not know we're about to do. So with the fence and all the security we've set up around here, they cannot see it. So we're hoping to do this behind the scenes. So let's get started. I do believe that we are about to the point where we are going to be able to own all of the oil production outside of the wall. So we're working here on a new way to get in and out of Frontier without the city knowing it. So I have some plans coming up on what we're going to do to be able to control the city in a way. You know, once you have all the control of the oil production, the city still needs fuel. So my goal is to shut them off from the outside world. They built a fence around themselves and now we can come in and hopefully dig a, a tunnel underneath the fence that we can control. And that's what I'm working on now. So let me get more of this tunnel built, and then once I get, get it down a ways, I'll come back in to let you guys see how it's looking to see if we can get some heavy equipment in and out. So we do own the property on both sides of the fence here, so that is nice. We do have some security lights all the way around, so we can keep an eye on what's happening on the other side of the fence. Once we have this, it'll allow us access to still get back to our iron ore mine. So we'll have all the oil, we'll have all the iron ore. There won't be much left for the city. So let me get this dug out and I'll see you in a little bit. Well, we are starting to get underneath the wall. We've got a million liters of dirt already. We're starting to pile up some more. Take quite a little bit of dirt to get all that emptied out. We'll start running into sand on the other side. It's just about through. Let's see if out real quick. Let's see how close we're getting. Oh yeah, we are through. We are all the way through. Can't see the wall, but it's there. Oh, I'm stuck. There. So I'm gonna have to dig a little bit more. It won't let me all the way out. Let me keep digging. We've got through. We're starting to run into sand now. Need to get the other tractor and wagon up here so we can start hauling these piles out. Like a little bit of a shortcut. It really isn't one. We're not through enough on this tunnel. So let me run back to the oil production area and grab our tractor and our loading wagon. Well, we made it all the way through, so I believe we can build some reinforcements around it, make sure it doesn't cave in. Then later on, we'll have to build a road on the, like the desert side of Frontier to be able to get through to the main roads outside the city. It's still a little steep on this side to get some of the bigger equipment through, like the semi. I don't think he's going to do too good right here, so try to smooth it out a little more. I'll do some more of this, and then hopefully we can get the semi through. Well, it may not be pretty, but it works to get the semi through, so we'll be able to smuggle things in and out of Frontier. I think this will work. Now we need to get back to take care of our oil production. Well, here we are in a new day. Got reports that something might have happened overnight on the railroad tracks. Apparently a pile of dirt uh, landed in one of the gateways to the city blocking the railroad tracks. So I don't know what's going on there, but I'm not too worried about it. Now the train can't get in and out of the city. We're just going to start selling stuff in our sell-all station. We have all, the, all of our... Uh, oil pumps that are all full so we're going to go empty those tanks 
take them, sell them, and we're going to be one step closer to having that $6 million that we need. The mine ran all night last night, so now it has some iron ore produced, so we'll be able to take it and sell it. And then that should be all we have lined up so far to do. So let me get these errands ran and then see how much money we have, see if we got to our $6 million or not. Well, now that we got all of our petroleum loaded up, got 171,000 liters, this is actually the house we built here by our lake. So that we have a place outside of the city to live. So when we conquer Frontier, we'll have a place to call home other than the little tent we were using. Here's right on the lake. Kind of like it. Small house, but works for us. But let me get this up and get it sold. See how much money we end up having. We've got 171,000 liters of petroleum. There's the train just sitting with nowhere to go. Apparently, uh, someone dumped a whole bunch of dirt in the gate that the train takes to get into the city. So he's stuck out here now. Looks like the officer is trying to figure out what I'm up to. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Carry on. Carry on. All right. See how much we get out of all that petroleum. Ah, another 1.2 million. Two and a half. We still need six million to be able to buy that petroleum refinery across the road. So, but I do have some iron ore from our mine that we mined last night and also yesterday. So I will run over, grab that pickup, and see how much it has. Looks like 92,000 liters. Not a whole lot, but it's some. We'll run it over to our sell-all and see how much we can get out of that. I also have some engine parts that we manufactured. That's kind of a heavy load. Takes a lot for this pickup. But we do have, like I said, the engine parts that we could sell if we had to. They're used more for the mine, but we could also sell them to the town. But let me run this over to our sell-all and see how much we can get out of 92,000 liters. This is our own private little getaway in and out of the city. First time I've taken the pickup through it. Hopefully you can get through okay. But underneath the wall, then we built a road all the way. See if I can go. Uh -oh. Hopefully the pickup has enough power and I'll have to get the excavator over here to try to push it up the hill. There we go. Like from now on, we're probably going to take a tractor or the, the semi to haul all the way. But you can see up there, somebody's big front loader. It's kind of on the railroad tracks. What happened here last night? Yes, that is quite a problem the city has. That's a big pile of dirt. They're never going to get through that. Let me run over and sell it. Alright, let's see what this will bring us. I'd love to see six million in our bank account. I don't think it's going to be anywhere close to that. Yeah, we're going to be over halfway there. Nope, not quite halfway there. 277,000. Maybe iron ore is not worth as much right now. But we do have our uh, limestone production running still. So they're still producing lime. We will get back and see if we can get some more iron ore out of the ground. Here we are with another rainy day, but we were able to get another 85,000 liters of iron ore out overnight. We're going to run it out, out of the city and see what we can get out of it. Right now we're filling our tanker up with the diesel that we produced last night. I just got to remember how to get out of here. There we go. Gotta remember to go to the right. So, But then we also need to go empty our pump jacks again. They're all full with 30 some thousand. So maybe today we will have enough to be able to do it all. Because I know the city mayor is getting a little nervous. He thinks something's up. So with you know, our fence up here, he's wanting to revoke our privileges to have access to this area back here. We have to get that oil refinery bought today so we can take over. So we won't be ran out of the city yet. We want full control out here. We want to have it all. 
that is my goal. We'll get over this over there. There's not a whole bunch in there, but hopefully it'll be enough with all the diesel and all the other oil that we're producing from the pump jacks. Let's go see what we can get up to. All right, here's the iron ore. Haven't used this trailer for a while. Pretty sure it dumps pretty quick. Yeah, it looks like it. Hopefully the diesel will be loaded up. That's 255,000. Now we're just over 4 million. Just a little less than 2 million to go. This is all the diesel that we have produced. That's going to get us up a little bit more. Another 184,000. Still over, a, well, about 1 and 3 quarter million short. But we do have all that uh, petroleum to get from the pump jacks. So I'll run over there, see what we can get. Hopefully it'll quit raining soon. Be nice. Train's still sitting up here on our left. Nowhere to go. Well, let's see, we have 248,000 liters of petroleum we got overnight. Let's see what we can get out of it. Come on, six million. There's five million. Oh, we might make it. It's gonna be really close. Six million, there we go. 6.2 million for $1.8 million harvest income. That's a lot of money. All right, well, let's go buy the big guy out. See, I think we'll even take our tanker down there to do it. Rub it in his face that we're taking over. Well, do you think he's gonna open the gate? Come on, open the gate for us. Oh, he did, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Well, let's go give him that six million dollar check. There it is. It's ours. We own all this now. You know, now that we have all the oil rights and mineral rights for all of Frontier, and we have taken over the big guy's operation, I say we do a hostile takeover of Frontier. Let's close down the city. You know, he gave us, the mayor of town gave us the key card to be able to open this gate. But we have changed the access code and now we're going to be the only ones with access to it. This gate is being locked and he can't get through it because he doesn't know the new code. Put some barricades up here. And now we've got to go mess up the main gate so nobody can get through it. We have this load of dirt here. That's what we're gonna go dump in the way. We have all the equipment that can get us through it. So that nobody's gonna be able to dig their way out. So let me go dump this load there. Well, there you have it, friends. The hostile takeover of the city of Frontier. We now control all the oil, all the minerals, and everything the city needs to survive. Now they are without fuel to run their vehicles, without electricity to power their homes. This was a complete takeover of Frontier. We never want to rely on one people group or one country to produce all of your fuel that you need to survive. So that is it, folks. That is going to do it for Frontier. If you have enjoyed this series, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. For anyone interested, we do have channel memberships available and would love to have you join the crew. And until next time, have a blessed day and bye-bye.